So yeah, guys, check it out, like without anything. And now wait. You see, it sounds nice, sounds rounded. And pretty much this processing chain, it's really simple, but it does the job. Hey, what's up, Tech House Market fam? Um, welcome to another tutorial. And today I'm gonna show you guys how to make a kick and bass and how to process it. Actually process them because they're two. So First of all, let's start with a kick. Let's just like lay down the kick right here um, in a loop like this so we can just repeat it easily. Um, I'm gonna go into the Latin um, the house pack just because it has some really nice kicks. Let's maybe choose this one because on this one I can show you guys a little bit more um, technique wise. I'm going to assign it to the insert one, um, just so we can kind of have it right there and process it. Of course, really simple way to put on the kick is just, you know, just four steps like this. So let's just like lower this down to 1.9. Also guys, one cool thing that I want to share. So what I like to do is I like to extend the notes to this line right here and then go back into the kick and raise up the uh, the uh, the hold like this so that way the kick is only going to be this long so half of one half of one beat pretty much which is actually the perfect length for the house kicks yeah um we have the kick um let's just quickly write a bass rhythm and then we can kind of go um and do some more so let's maybe pick this bass here they pick one let's maybe see in the peak we covered the house maybe we can find something else i really like this i'm just gonna take this loop right here and I'm just going to take the first note. So yeah, like this. Oh, exactly do the same with a hold. So it's just going to pretty much play the note. And also put it up in a key. So it's in A. Yeah, A, A. Okay, perfect. And now we can play this. Maybe something like this. I will still see how the rhythm works. Let's make this. Oh, this. Copy and paste it. We can kind of make this second, um, uh, second part of it a little bit different. Maybe sound like this. That's okay. Okay, perfect. So let's apply the processing to the kick. Also, before I do that, let me just assign this right here. So one of the first things that I always do when I pick the kick, the bass, I always make sure the side chain is bright. So let's do the, so this is our kick. Let's just rename it. So it's a little bit easier to follow. It'll be our kick and it's going to be our bass. So bass, green. Okay, perfect. A little bit easier to understand. So, first of all, let's just run the kick through the bass. So, switch into this track, which enables us when we open up kick start and when we assign auto map inputs right here, enables us to see the kick and bass. So, as you can see, yellow is a kick and white is just a bass. So, let's just apply the side chain, which is. Already sounds way better. So this is this is without side chain. And this is with side chain. Let's maybe lower this down. Yeah, sounds nice like this. Okay, let's move on to the processing of the kick. So 
one of the first plugins that I always do is Decapitator. I like I like it because it adds a really nice punch and really nice warm sound to the kick. So what I like to do, I like to turn off the auto as I already did, and then just slightly um lo uh, slightly raise up the drive. Also, I really like I only I only pretty much like the preset A. I don't know why, but the style A is my favorite. So let's just add it. Also, when you click on here on the names, you can kind of see a little bit more in depth and you can see this pretty much percentage and everything. Just a small cool, cool tip about the capitator. You can see without sounds like this and with already sounds a lot more heavier and a lot more rounded pretty much. The next thing that I like to do, I like to add SPL transient designer you can guys use the free one this is from kilohertz it also works perfectly i just like you to use this one just because i really like the the, the how attack sounds on the transient shape from, from kilohertz it sounds a little bit, little bit different but i just prefer this one but you, you pretty much they do this all they all they all do the same thing so you know not a big, huge deal so yeah, let's just add a little bit more click. Okay, perfect. Already sounds really nice. I'm just gonna add on the master channel, I'm just gonna add a soft clipper so we don't clip. Yeah, sounds so much better. Okay, so the next thing that I want to do, I just want to saturate on the kick, just the the thumpy part. So the thumpy part is from around like 120 hertz to like 300 hertz. So pretty much this area right here. Let me just show you guys. I saw the kick. You can see this part. Oh, sorry. <laughs> To see i pretty much just want to saturate that part right there and i want to add a little bit more thump so the the way i like to do it i like to choose the warm tube either warm tube or warm tape just depends like what you pick um i will turn this off and off right here so we just kind of solo this area right here so now if we see you can see it sounds a little bit more thumpier um yeah so check it out without yeah sounds sounds way 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 better um the next thing that i like to do is i like to apply a little bit of this black box just a little bit you see um just a little bit i'm not doing anything major And I would always recommend always tweak the knob to the to the max and then just like tame it out. You can see this is pretty much what we get out of the kick. Let's just lower it down because it's going over zero. So this is without any effects. And this is with the DFX. You can see the difference is really really big and check it out like in the in the sense of the hole. You can base. So you can see our kick is ready it sounds really nice and now we need to move on to the base so for the baseline there is a couple of ways sometimes a single sound godizer can do the job so check it out for example maybe right here you can see single sound godizer did a job but if you if you don't want to uh, use the sound organizer or it doesn't sound nice, there is some other ways. So first way would be decapitator again, one of my favorite plugins. Just add a little bit more drive. You see, just sounds nice. 
Now I want to add a little bit more EQ. So I'm just also before EQing the base, always make sure that it's linear phase right here. We click on this lin right here. And pretty much what I like to do, I like to move all of those guys actually like this. So move all of them to the right. This one to the left. So I kind of have a cleaner vision of where what I'm EQing. Um, I like to go on right click, right click, right. Uh, yeah, right click right there. Go into the E because we're in E minor and just pick this note right here. Either this one or this one or this one. So we'll just see which kind of sounds the best. So let's try uh, raising this up. It sounds nice. Let's try E2. Okay, sounds a little bit better. Let's just raise the side chain. Perfect. Sounds really nice. You can see we kind of added some of the 80 hertz into the bass and it already sounds a lot better. Let's maybe add another plugin. It's going to be, um, where is it? One sec. Uh, okay. Yeah, the, uh, the limiter. So this is really con um, contra uh, controversial because not a lot of people limit their bass lines, but I'm a huge believer that if something is quiet, you can just take a limiter and make it a little bit louder. And I've been doing this for my songs and it seems and it's been working. So you can see the bass is just like, it's just missing like a little bit. Um, yeah, also you can see I'm just lowering it down. So we can maybe even raise this up, but still I like to push it to the limit and then just go back. So maybe just adding 1 dB, 1.1. Yeah, so I, this sounds really, really nice. I would just layer the kick with another kick. I'm just going to show you guys this as well. Maybe with something clicky. Maybe this one. So pretty much the same processing. I should do it like, do it like this. Also copy and paste it. And just make sure that we get rid of everything in the long one. So like this linear phase. You can see this, this, this is actually our top kick. We choose this one. Yeah, that sounds better. So check it out now. Everything. Also, um, if you guys, I mean, if you're, if you don't want to chop loops in there or, or something, I'm just gonna um, as, as well show you guys processing for example if we took a serum patch or we made it from scratch or actually do that let's just make it from scratch i'm gonna go like this octave down so we get a bass sound also lower down the mg low maybe even more randomize to zero Let's maybe pick the basic shapes. Also, I was thinking about actually, I just remember this extremely nice preset that I want to show you guys. It's in, uh, yeah, right here. Uh, I think it's low rider base. Yeah, this one. Yeah, this one. Yeah, let's start with this one. So let's assign it to the same base. Right here, I'm just gonna disable the effects. And let's start it from scratch. So we have this. So you see we're missing some of the the decap it. Yeah, some of the the pretty much the the mid-range in the bass. The already 
actually sounds a lot better better um so for this i would actually go with a uh, around 164 just because you already have if you look at the, the graph right here we already have enough base it's a base so getting a little bit more mid-range out of it is gonna sound nice and l2 we actually don't need it but what we can do we can introduce another one we can go for 41 raise it up make the cue a little bit more steeper like this we're just aiming for that sub so yeah guys check it out like without anything and that would you see it sounds nice sounds rounded and pretty much this processing chain it's really simple but it does the job thank you so much for watching and make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel so thanks a lot for watching my name is cashew and see you in the next one